For ring final circuits, the process of testing is identical to that in a domestic situation, except that the insulation resistance test will have to be carried out on any ring final circuit individually, since it's not normally possible to carry out insulation resistance on an industrial installation as a whole. Let's run through the test sequence. Firstly, carry out ring continuity checks. This is done by disconnecting both ends of the line, neutral and circuit protective conductor or CPC from the board. Continuity can then be checked for each conductor. The resistances measured should be substantially the same, but because in this case the CPC is of reduced cross-sectional area, then its resistance is higher than the phases. For the next step, connect the neutral of one leg of the ring to the line of the other and vice versa. The resistance between line and neutral is then read at each socket outlet. Again, the reading should be substantially the same. Industrial ring mains are often wired in single core cable and it is possible to mistake the cores. If you find your readings increasing as you move further away from the point of supply, then you've probably mixed up the line and neutral conductors of the two legs of the ring. As a double check, the readings should be about a quarter of the combined line and neutral resistances measured previously. Spurs will give a slightly higher reading since it will include the resistance of the spur conductors. Finally, the line conductor of one leg of the ring is connected to the CPC of the other and the measurements taken again at each socket outlet to measure R1 plus R2. Again, the reading should be substantially the same and be about a quarter of the combined resistance of the line and CPC. Spur circuits will be slightly higher. The highest reading obtained will be the R1 plus R2 measurement to be recorded on the test certificate. Whilst carrying out this sequence of tests, polarity can also be checked by visual inspection at the terminals of the socket outlets. This can be verified once the circuit is made live. Finally, while the ring conductors are disconnected, it makes sense to carry out insulation resistance measurements on the ring circuit.